Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week, I'm playing with a Simply Xenia bundle. This is an online exclusive. You won't find it in any of the catalogs. It's online only. Uh, stamps and dies. It has two ways to make the Xenia. You can stamp it or you can paper piece it with the dies, which is what we're gonna do today. It also comes with some beautiful paper and we are using some of it um, here. It's got uh, some kind of flowery printed uh, paper on one side and then the other side are kind of like monochromatic um, patterns, which I love. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, the project today is a seed card. All right, see how it opens up and pulls that? You can get these at Dollar Tree, four for a dollar. All right, now let's make the holder first and then I'm gonna show you how to make those flowers. You're gonna need two pieces of cardstock. Um, the first one is Old Olive, and it is four and a fourth by 11, and I have scored it at one and three fourths and seven and a fourth. The second piece that you need is a piece of Lemon Lime Twist, and I have scored it at half an inch and at five and a half. And you're gonna fold up this part right here and then fold backwards that part right there. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is staple this um, right here. Uh, we wanna leave it wide enough so that this fits. So I'm gonna take my stapler and just put a staple right on that edge and right on that edge like that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here on this bottom flap that you fold it up. And like that. Okay, so now get your tear and tape. If my tear and tape is not here, well, it seems to have disappeared. That's all right, we'll just use stamp and seal. I'm gonna put stamp and seal or tear and tape right there on that edge. I'm gonna take this and line it up right in the middle and lay that down on it. So that now, see how that's gonna pick that up? And we're gonna put this down in the pocket. And now when you pull that up, it's gonna open up to show your seeds. All right, let's put our seeds in that little pocket right there and give it a try. There we go, see how that pops up. Now there's a little bit of a gap here, so I have cut out, if I can get it under my pile, this piece of, um, Lemon Lime Twist, and it's our uh, border, basic border dies. And I'm gonna take that and adhere this. Let's do it the right side right there, like that. So now we've got that covering up that gap, okay? Now for the designer series paper, the measurements for these will be over on my blog. I've got a free PDF for you, so make sure you check it out. We'll put this one up here. It has all the measurements and the supply list. All right, and then I've got this skinny strip of basic white. We're going to stamp the sentiment in Melon Mambo. Can I get it straight the first time? Let's see. I've got a backup piece just in case. Hey, look at that, I did it. If you can't get it straight, stamp the sentiment and then cut your paper down to the skinny strip. That will be easier. All right, we're gonna cover that up like that. Okay, and then snip, let's see, we'll snip this because mine's a little bit too long. There we go. All right, now for our flowers. Lots of die cuts um, for this project. First, uh, to make your large flower, let's start there, you're gonna use this die right here, cut out two gorgeous grape pieces. Um, now I have a little bit, I have a couple of tips for you. You can put a dryer sheet, a cheap old dryer sheet, under your cardstock um, on top of your cutting platform and it will hold your pieces in place as you cut them. If you're having trouble getting all these pieces, um, sometimes they stick in the dies, they become tedious. So put a dryer sheet down, put your cardstock and then your dies. And when you cut it and you pull your die off, the paper sticks to the dryer sheet. It peels off, but it, but 
it sticks enough so that you can just pull that die off without the paper uh, being stuck in the die. All right, so now we've cut this one from Highland Heather, and the top one is my favorite, Melon Mambo. And you want to kind of offset these, kind of twist them a little bit so that the petals are in between each other. We're going to do the same thing over here, Highland Heather, a little bit of Melon Mambo right there, and I'm just using liquid glue. Um, you could put adhesive sheets behind your cardstock as well if you want to turn your paper into a sticker so you don't have to use the liquid glue, you can do that. Now these little flower rings right here, it's this die right here, it's so cute. We're just gonna put teeny tiny dot on either side, stick that down. Well, let's try that again. Stick that down. Once I start using the glue, my hands get sticky. I'm a messy, I'm a messy stamper as it is, but when it comes to liquid glue, I'm definitely pretty messy. All right, so let's set those aside. Now for these little buds right here, we're using these two dies, and I've cut them from Melon Mambo, and one is a little bit bigger than the other. So we're gonna put that one in the background, and I'm gonna take just a little dot of glue there, and a little dot of glue there, and put that on top. Kind of creates a little bit of a two-dimensional look. Um, your take your pick tool is going to be your best friend when you are working with all these die cuts. It's going to help you move things around. Now for the leaves, I have cut four uh, lemon lime twist leaves. There is this die right here. It kind of looks like an antler. I have cut these out of um, old olive and I did put an adhesive sheet on the back of my cardstock before I cut it out because these are a little bit harder to put the glue on. And so you'll just take your adhesive backing off. I like to use my take your pick tool to get that off. And then you just stick it on like that and it creates veining on your leaf. Now the project that I have uh, done before this, I have another video, I just left the veining off. There were so many pieces on that card that I thought, you know, we're just gonna simplify it and leave the veining off. So that's one step you can leave off if you feel like maybe you wanna simplify things a bit. All right, we'll put that one right there. And last but not least, this one right here. Old Olive and Lemon Lime Twist. Who knew those, those would look so good together? All right, now we're gonna start with our uh, large flowers first, and then we're gonna kind of adhere everything around those. We'll tuck things in behind them. So dimensional, dimensional, overlapping a bit. And then I'm gonna take the little, um, I don't know what you call this, the little bud sprout. <laughs> that doesn't feel like it's the right word, but that's what I'm gonna say. Um, and then we'll take this, one of these little buds that we made, they're not quite dry yet. And I'm gonna tuck it behind, hopefully you can see that, tuck it behind there like that. Then I'm gonna just put some glue here and here and we'll take our leaves and stick those in. And then over here, we'll put one in like that. And then we'll put one kind of going up this way like that. All right, now for our other bud, I felt like the top needed a couple of, you know, it needed some color. These would be really good with adhesive sheets, I think, if we, had put adhesive sheets on the back of those. And see how I've made a little bit of a mess with the glue. Let's take that off and put that down first. And then we'll stick that right there. All right. Now there's another component to this suite and it is the shiny adhesive back sequence. Unfortunately, right now, these guys are on uh, 
what we call unorderable status. They were so popular, they sold out super fast. They'll be back next month. Um, we have some other things. If you need sequins right away, I think um, we've got lots of sequins that will work, but I also think our adhesive backed discs would work really well um, with this co these colors. All right, last but not least, let's add a lemon lime twist bow. One of my favorite things about Stampin' Up, you guys know, color coordination. If we have a color, then you know we've got the, the color in ink and paper and markers, embellishment. So we've used lemon lime twist cardstock. So now we're gonna use lemon lime twist ribbon to coordinate and we know that it will go together. All right, there you go. All right, a fun springtime card. Now, if you wanna write a message on this, um, what I would recommend is putting a piece of basic white right here, and you could write your message. This will fit in a regular envelope and be super fun to send in the mail. You might need a little extra postage, but I think it's definitely worth it. All right, let me know if you have any questions, and happy stamping. Bye.